Weather is crap outside today. Do you like me at? Hobbit knitted this. <laughs> Keep me head warm. Um, yeah, if anyone ever wonders why this part of France is so green for most of the year, it's probably due to the amount of rain we get. Anyway, in one of the other videos, we checked out the the double drum holder for the HDR50. Now I might have had that on backwards. Turns out the CO2 goes in there and this little thing on the side here is for the Allen key that comes with the gun. Um, and they're vertical rather than horizontal by design. Um, when it's fitted on the gun, the correct way round, the drums are in there in the correct orientation for putting into the gun for a reload. So if you're having to reload in the dark or something like that, there you go. Anyway, we've got a couple of bits from the same company, alternativemag.co.uk. We've got the slug makers, 68 caliber, 50 caliber. Um, they're supposed to be slightly more pointed than other ones that are available on the market. We're gonna try it. Now I did have some black hot glue sticks and I had some wax sticks as well. I can't find them, I've had a bit, well, not much of a tidy up, but I must have misplaced them, I've put them somewhere. So today we're going to be, there's a little bit of black stick left in the gun, but we're just gonna be using clear hot glue. Um, and we're gonna see what these projectiles make. I might put some lead balls in the 68 caliber ones. Where have I put those? I'll keep moving, hang on. Keep moving stuff so we've got lead balls here they're there for the black powder pistol so i might drop a few of those in the 68 caliber and see what they come out like it's pretty straightforward we'll get over on the bench and we'll make some up and we'll see what i'm not going to shoot them today because uh, obviously the weather's horrendous out there it's rain wind god knows what so there'll be no shooting in this video but we're just going to make some and i've got some that i've previously made using the ammo 6 silicon mold the 50 and the 68 caliber so we'll compare them see how they're pointed and this that and the other and then when the weather clears up and it gets a bit nicer we'll get out in the range and we'll see what they got sort of shoot like um they're going to be just smooth sided they're not i think yeah they're just smooth sides not sort of got like that rifle twist on them Anyway, let's go over here and have a look. You're gonna want a hot glue gun. This is a 100 watt, quite a good, powerful one. So we've got the 50 caliber mold. And in this one we've got 68. I'll do some of each and we'll use the provided BBs that are in the packet. There are instructions, of course. Right, so what you need to do is lubricate these first with some WD-40 or some silicon spray. I'm just gonna spray it with silicon spray. Tap out any... Uh, loose. That's the pin that we'll push them out with in a minute. Uh, what should we put in here? Let's just put some of these BBs in. Put a large one in. Right, I'm just going to switch the hot glue gun on. Um, right, glue gun's up to temperature, let's try it. can put it in a bit of cold water to get the glue to set.
trim off the back edge. Not that out of shape, perhaps it needs to cool down a bit more. Give that a few minutes, just let it cool down. That one there is ammo six and that one is these alternative mags. That's it, I can't really say much more about these. Um, they do work. Now obviously my Stanley knife is not the sharpest. <laughs> so if you've got like a really sharp craft knife you can sort of go across the top or just don't put as much glue, hot glue in or whatever you're gonna use. I've got hot glue, I've got hot wax somewhere that goes through the glue gun, but I, I've put it somewhere and I don't know where it is. But um, yeah, they these are the ones with the, the lead balls in it, if that'll focus on that or if it's gonna focus on my face. So that's with the lead balls. We've got another one here, there's a better looking one. And just as a comparison, this one here is done in the ammo 6 mould, so let me see if I can find a slightly more pointed one. If you can see that, that's slightly more, it's got a sharper profile, but so that's the ammo 6 which they're all all pretty good. Um, I'll put links to these in the description. You know, if you're ordering anything else off their website and you wanted a, a slug maker, just have a go to do it yourself. You can pick these up in the same place. Um, if not, <laughs> thanks for watching the video. <laughs>
I say, I, I get stuff sent to me um, from time to time from different companies, uh, bits and pieces, and um, I'll just try it out. We will go and try these out on the range. Now I've got some Ammo 6 uh, V9 spirals, I think what they're called, um, with the lead balls in it as well. So I'll have to find them. <laughs> I'll have to, of course, because it's they've coated over the top you can't tell what's inside it um but i'll be able to this might be one because it's poking out the top you can see that but i can tell by weight i can weigh them and uh, we'll take them outside and we'll see what damage they will do to some items out on the range so that's gonna be it for this video description is all down the link below and um yeah all good stuff, innit? Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.